Here in the dark, fortress-like confines of Sean Cunningham's blacksmithing shop, the sweltering heat of the coal-fired forge is dwarfed only by the sound of steel smashing steel. It's here at Front Step Forge in East Edmonton, where Cunningham and fellow master swordsmith David Goldberg demonstrated to local media the act of forging steel. Top first this I'm sorry. For Goldberg, his quest to becoming a swordsmith started when he was just 24 years old. It was in Japan where he began learning from a local master swordsmith. By the time I was 38, I was pretty skilled. And I went to Japan, and I met a true master. Later on, after I was already making swords, and he honed my skills and took me under his wing and allowed me to be kind of pseudo in his lineage. In Japan, Goldberg explains how foreigners cannot become licensed swordsmiths. In fact, a Japanese swordsmith only makes one to two swords a year, and they only make the blade, but not Goldberg. I had to learn how to do everything myself, so I'm a sole author. I make the fittings, make the handles, wrap the handles, make the wooden cases myself. So it's a little unusual. Most artisans in Japan only do one task or two. On June 6th and 7th, Nate will host a two-day Japanese sword blade forging course at the Nate South Campus. Registration can be filled out online at nate.ca. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Trevor Robb.